vibrato and dynamics. One of the most unique features in concert adaptive strings is the way vibrato is used. In most other libraries, vibrato and dynamics are set to be controlled by controllers such as the Mod Wheel and CC11. And while you can certainly do that with concert strings adaptive, we preferred to have the vibrato respond to velocity at default. You may ask why we made this decision. Well, since one of the main goals of Concert Strings Adaptive is to be the most playable string library for those of you who like to play live or who like to play in the parts before separating them out, we wanted to free you from constantly having to grab various controllers during your performance. And since string players usually use more vibrato when playing loudly, the choice seemed obvious. But we have taken it to another level. Vibrato, dynamics, and expression can all chase velocity even on held notes. For example, Let's say you play a chord with a rolling left hand arpeggio while holding the upper part of the chord with your right hand. Normally, the vibrato and dynamics would be stuck at the velocity you originally played. But what's cool here is that while rolling the left hand arpeggio, the held right hand chord will dynamically follow what the left hand is doing. Its vibrato, dynamics, and expression will all chase what your left hand is playing, which gives you a lovely swelling effect. And if you want, you can also further modify the vibrato by grabbing CC11, the default setting. Or you can assign a vibrato slider to a CC using Contact's Learn MIDI CC Number Automation feature. In this case, I'll choose CC1. I almost forgot. There's another nifty way to further alter the vibrato while you're playing. Repeatedly hit the lowest A, MIDI note 21 on your keyboard, and the vibrato will chase that note's velocity as well. By default, this swelling effect is there, but not too much you can easily modify the sensitivity. Let's go to the mix page to do that. First, we can change the limits of the actual vibrato here. You can see there is a minimum and maximum vibrato for each section. This ensures that you won't get too much or too little vibrato while you play. Over here, you can adjust the velocity sensitivity for the dynamics and expression. So let's look at a few other more detailed features of vibrato. Let's say that you like this swelling vibrato, but you want to limit the vibrato chasing to each section. By default, each section's vibrato chasing responds to notes no matter where they're played on the keyboard. For example, the violin's vibrato will chase the velocity of notes played in any other section's range. If you want to limit vibrato to only respond to the velocity of notes played within its own range, then deselect this button. Here is where you choose to have each section's vibrato controlled by MIDI CC or velocity. Notice that by default, the global vibrato slider is on. This means that you can further modify the vibrato amount of all sections, even after a note is played by using this slider. And what's nice is that if you do use this slider after a note is played, the vibrato change will be smoothly executed. Remember when I mentioned playing the lowest A on your keyboard to further modify the vibrato? Well, here is where you can change that if you don't want to use this particular key. Note that this feature only works if you've chosen to control vibrato with velocity. 
Down here is a switch that gives you the option of linking the vibrato amounts to the dynamic slider. However, if you have assigned the same CC to control both dynamics and vibrato, this switch will remain off. In fact, by default, MIDI CC11 is indeed assigned to both vibrato and dynamics. To change that, go to the home page and click the automation button. You'll see the various automation assignments here. And as I said before, you can opt to handle vibrato and dynamics in the conventional way. Here's how. From the home page, click the automation button and choose different controllers for dynamics and vibrato. I'll choose CC1, the mod wheel for vibrato, since that's the norm. Then, I'll head over to the mix page and set all of the sections vibrato to CC. That means that the vibrato will now be fully controlled by the mod wheel. Note that you can shift-click any of the section's vibrato buttons to apply the change to all of the sections at once. Also note that down here, vibrato is linked to the dynamic slider. If you don't want this linking to happen, just turn it off.